G'day, this is Dean from Dean Cooper Photography, uh, bringing you another product review today. Today I'm going to show you guys the, the new holder from Nissi, the V6. It supersedes the V5 Pro. Okay, so this is for their 100mm filter drop-in system. Uh, they've updated the V5 Pro, they've made some absolutely fantastic improvements. So I want to show you all of the new, new improvements on the holder and also just compare it to the V5 Pro. Now, I could do this review here, but it's a little bit boring. Um, so I thought I would head down the coast, down the Great Ocean Road, and just show you a really beautiful part of the world at the same time. So let me pack the car, and I'll head down there, and I will show you the new V6 holder from this year. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Let me show you the, uh, the Nissi V6 holder. So first I'm going to just show you the difference between the kits. There is uh, two things that are different with a V6. You immediately see that we now have a nice, attractive looking soft pouch um, compared to the V5 Pro came in this hard case. I used to call it the cigar box. Um, so they've now, yeah, they've gone to a soft pouch. Everything fits inside nicely. And one of the best things with this is this uh, attachment on the back, okay? So that Velcros is onto one of the legs of your tripod and uh, keeps everything handy for you. <clears throat> now at first I didn't think that was really going to be such a big deal, but after using it I've found um, having this on the tripod, once your holder and everything's out it just gives you a, a bit of room to um, throw your phone in there if you're using the, the Nissi app for your long exposures or maybe uh, you've got a time and release on a cable and instead of it hanging down it can now sit inside this pouch so that's a really nice addition. Uh, the second thing that is different with a kit is that the V6 now comes with a cap okay. The um, V5 kit, V5 Pro didn't come with a cap you had to buy the cap separately so now the cap comes in the kit and the great thing is they have uh, modified and updated this cap. It's one of the things that is different. So they've still retained the hard plastic here for protection, but they've put a nice soft rubber outer ring on it, which makes it really nice and easy to pop on and off. Okay, this one could be a little bit difficult to put on and off, especially when it was new, it was quite tight. and had little, um, little cutouts where you sort of had to get your thumb in there to pop it off. But Nissi, have, uh, they've listened to all of our feedback and they've taken it on board and they've designed a really great easy cap to use. Now everything else in the kit is the same. Okay, I'll just, I'll just show you. So you still get the holder, you get the main 82mm ring. I'll just try and take it out without dropping it on the ground. Okay, so the main holder you get the 82mm ring, I've got the polarizer in there, so that's the same. And then you get three, three stepping rings, a 77, a 72 and a 67. So that 
allows you to attach this holder onto um, four different size lenses, which is pretty good. Now let me run through and just show you the things that they've changed. And um, I have to say, when Nissi sent me this holder, I was a little bit, not dubious, but I sort of thought, uh, I don't know how they could really improve on the V5 Pro that much. I've been using the V5 Pro since it came out, which is, uh, must be at least uh, 18 months, I reckon. Um, and I mean, the V5 Pro is a great holder. So when they said the V6 was coming out and there were all these improvements, I thought <coughs> um, it would be interesting to see what they've done because, as I said, the V5 was, was such, a good, um, such a good filter holder. So the first thing um, is that they've cut these sides off, okay? So they've cut the sides off, so now when you're putting your ND filters, uh, the 100mm by 100mm, um, you can, they, they protrude here on the edges, so it's really easy to get them in and out. So that was a bit of a complaint that some people had on the V5, where you can see it's much squarer. So when your filters were in, you basically couldn't really get them out easily. So they've done that, so that's really good. The other thing they've done is, is these guides, okay, they've updated the guides and modified those. So the guides now run all the way through, which means when you're inserting a filter, it's gonna stay in that slot and not come out accidentally into another slot. So again, they've, they've listened to feedback and they've made that modification. Now the third thing they've done is I've added this little um, locking wheel here, locking pin. So you can actually now lock the holder off in a certain position. Now when I saw that I sort of thought, yeah I don't think I'll really use that that much. But I have to eat my words after using this um, holder for nearly two months now. I have to say I really like the lock. It just, for, for a couple of reasons, it just means if you're if you've got your holder on an angle, which quite do, with if you need a grad on an angle, you can now lock it off and it stays in position. And the other thing is if you're moving down the beach from one spot to another and you don't want to pack everything up, you can lock that off and know that that holder is securely in place and you're not going to accidentally knock it off as you're moving down the beach. So um, yeah, a great improvement on the holder itself. Now the other thing they have done is on the main 82 mil ring. It's basically the same, but they've raised this little platform where the CPL screws in. So they did that with the V5 Pro. From the V5 to the V5 Pro, they lifted that slightly to make it easier, and they've done that again. They've lifted it, and it's now, it's really easy to get the polarizer on and off. So that is the differences. Um, I'll just tell you like what's compatible with the V5 Pro and the V6. You might have the V5 Pro and you might be thinking of, of buying this as a, as a second holder. So basically everything's interchangeable except the cap, okay? So that cap only goes on the V6, it doesn't go on the V5 Pro and the same with the V5 Pro cap does not fit on this. Other than that, everything is interchangeable. I can set this up on a lens and I can put a V5 holder on it um, and vice versa. So th that way it's very, very compatible, um, which is great. They haven't completely gone to a whole new holder and made life difficult for people. So that's um, another nice thing that Nissi have done. And the other thing you may want to know is um, what other filters can I use on this holder? So. This is their 100 mil system. It takes filters that are 100 mil wide by two, two mil thick. Okay, so the NDs are 100 by 100 square and the grads are 100 by 150 long. So any other brand that has filters that size and a two mil thick will fit into this holder. So you may already have um, Lee, Coke and High Tech, Hayda, whatever brand, um, as long as they are that size, they will fit into this holder. Now, one of the really big advantages with this holder is the circular polarizer, okay? The design of it, 
is fantastic because this actually sits um, behind our field holder where a lot of the other manufacturers put the polarizer at the front okay and that causes vignetting and all sorts of problems you can use this holder on um, full frame camera with any 16 mm lens no vignetting okay so the beauty is that you can run a polarizer and then you've got three slots here so you can run another three filters now you may think that that is fairly extreme but it's not um, pretty much I, I reckon 80% of my shots have four filters so I will use a polarizer on all my seascapes I'll have an ND filter to slow it down and then quite often I'm using two grads to control the light um, and I'm going to take some shots here tonight and there's a big contrast between the sky the water and these dark ro rocks so I'm guessing I'm probably going to need um, a couple of grads in there to pull it down anyway um, that is about it I uh, hope you found this review handy. If I've left anything out or if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will answer that um, immediately for you. And uh, now I'm going to go and use this and take some photos. Thanks for watching. See ya.